this is a pen that caught my attention because of this html structure which is something i've done in the past and i recall being incredibly frustrated with the fact that i had to write all these manually so i thought isn't there a simpler way of automatically generating all these so let's see how we do that so let's switch to pen so we can fork this and then we're going to switch to presentation again so we can blow up the font size here and it doesn't look like that now we're going to switch the preprocessor because we generally want to go for the or at least i want to go in general for the preprocessor that lets me write the least amount of code and we're going to have a mix in here called nest and maybe there can be better names here but i'm out of ideas for the moment and we're going to have a base class an index and a maximum number and we're going to have a diff inside and we're going to give it a class so for um, the top level element we're not going to have a c class a, a base class only for the rest of them so that's going to be if i is greater than one then we're going to have a base class and a space otherwise we have nothing and after that we add a base class plus the index and let's call this mixin the base class is a uh, c uh, we start at 1 go to 14 all right so we have the top level element and now as long as i is smaller than n if i smaller than n then we call this again nest the same base class incrementing the index and then we have our maximum number n now let's see for the css so first of all we're not using these anywhere so we can just uh, remove all of them and we're going to put them into this list but only once not twice as they're all listed there so we put them in here and all right now we get rid of this mixin because it doesn't generate different values for different elements so we put this there um let's compact this a bit because it's a bit hard to see much when the font size is this big let's compact this as well all right and let's make these values let's make them uh, make them numbers with units because this simplifies things and it avoids potential problems later on so um what we're going to do is put this loop inside here um, and here we're going to hop and switch the loop to and if i is um, smaller than one then this is c1 and we can put this in there and this is going to be a minus i times b and we can put this as a d dimension which we put 
here the is on this is going to be S R A, not S. And again this is also the same value for the height. And then for the background we're going to have length colors plus one all right so this gives us the same styling um now for the keyframes we don't need these the first um these two because they're the first and last keyframe and they set the value to the default so we don't need them and since we have a linear timing function here linear um, and these perfectly interpolate in the middle we don't need those either so we're going to delete all of them so um, now let's um, see we have this this here and this here um, the sign here is plus one and in this case, this case, and this case, the sign here is minus one. Now we get one as being minus one raised to an even power, and minus one is minus one raised to an odd power. So what we're going to do here in terms of uh, 0 and 1 we have that 1 is minus 1 raised to 0 and um, minus 1 is minus 1 raised to 1 so we have a loop here from 0 to 4 and um, the keyframes are i plus 0.5 multiplied by 25 percent so this gives us the exact same values 12.5 37.5 La, la, la and here we have transform is translate um and now we want these values so we have plus one plus one minus one minus one so this is going to be zero zero uh one one in terms and this is floor so k is floor i over two so this is going to be um, 0 over 2 floor is 0, 1 over 2 uh, floor is 0, 2 over 2 floor is 1, 3 over 2 floor is 1. So this gives us 0, 0, 1, 1. And for the other one, we have 0, 1, 1, 0. So this is going to be um, like XOR. And we're going to have I plus K and everything this and this gives us uh, 0 1 1 0 so we have minus 1 raised to J times C and here we have about the same thing only we're going to have um, K so yeah this gives us the exact same animation and one more thing we can do is go from pixels to ends and let's see 18.75 ends and this translates to 1.25 and uh, 10 translates to 0.625 and this is because if you go here and we set font size to uh, 1.5 ends now um you see this increases the whole size just with this rule and from here we can get something a lot smaller so this is kind of like the benefit of using ends so yeah this is it